Well, Tom Brady, not the only big story in the NFL this week. We want to bring in Andrew Brandt, NFL Media Insider, Executive Director of the Morad Center for Sports Law. Andrew, thank you for being with us. You know, let's start with the owners meeting. We know the Colts owner, Jim Ursay, saying he believes there is enough votes to finally remove Dan Snyder as the commander's owner. First, how big of a deal is it that Ursay is saying this publicly? Yeah, Nicole, it's a big deal. We've heard a lot of attacks on Dan Snyder from the media, from fans, certainly me being from Washington. I hear it a lot from friends and family, but not a fellow owner. And this is a big deal where he stepped out from the sort of hush-hush meetings of owners and saying, we need to start to think about starting the process to remove Daniel Snyder. This is big. The question is where it goes from here. No other owners, including Jerry Jones, who's always been a leader in the league, has come out and said anything like that. We'll wait and see if something comes out. Nothing from the commissioner, nothing from sponsors, which I think could make an impact. So right now it's this standoff between Daniel Snyder and Jim Ursay, and Snyder is not going to leave voluntarily, that's for sure. Well, you mentioned Jerry Jones. I want to I want to talk to him, uh, yeah. talk about him in a moment. But first, I mean, do you think this could be potentially the beginning of the end for Snyder? It's a tough question. I think there has to be more than Ursay. There has to be a coordinated effort among owners and maybe as happened with the NBA and Robert Sarver, among sponsors, among the commissioner, among players, among affected people, stakeholders, TV networks. Okay. That's what's gonna happen. But as you mentioned, Jim Irsay's a start yep. and, it's, and it's a notable start. All right, let's talk uh, Jerry Jones. There was a profanity laced back and forth between Jerry Jones and Robert Kraft. What do we know about what led up to this? This is about the commissioner's pay, and I was around the NFL for some of this where Jerry Jones had the same argument. He does not want to not pay Roger Goodell. He wants to pay him according to a bonus system. If he gets this kind of deal, he makes this much. If he gets us this much, if our franchises go up this much, if he gets these kind of TV deals or sponsor deals, whereas the bulk of the, those in the compensation committee want to pay Commissioner Goodell a flat salary, really no incentivized money, and it's big, you know, like 40, 50, 60 million a year, where Jerry Jones wants it to be incentive based, and he used some colorful language in explaining what he wants. And is that how they normally talk to each other? What's that? Is that is that, is that normal? This profanity, like this back and forth. I mean, is that kind of normally how they how they talk to each other? <laughs> I think it's normal for sidebar conversations or conversations at the bar. But this was in an open meeting, Nicole, so that's different. I've been in a lot of owners' meetings where there's a lot of sniping, but right. not F-bombs directed at other owners, no. All right. Uh, well, finally, let's talk to uh, uh, He was talking to reporters today saying that he was unconscious. He doesn't remember the big hit that has everyone talking. Tell us what kind of conversations uh, are going on in the league behind the scenes about this issue right now. Well, we hope he's cleared. You know, this he could have had four two concussions in four days. No one's saying that. No one's saying he actually had a concussion in that first game, but it sure looked like it. So there's almost a, a crossing the fingers that this guy comes out unscathed because he's going back to work. He's going on the field. He's been cleared by the medical people. And if it doesn't happen, if he gets a third concussion or something to that effect, God forbid, this is going to be a stain on the NFL because there's the continuing lingering feeling like, was he really coming back in that first game and then, of course, going to the second game where he did get concussed. Right. Two is going to be a lightning rod for head, head, head injuries this whole year. Oh, yeah, and we certainly hope that he is. Okay, all right, Andrew, as always, thank you so much for your time. Always a pleasure, Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.